So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Fine, I'll do it. Not that I have anything to prove. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official, Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. Oh, what a kick to the face, oh my God. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. She's calling for it. Oh, what a kick. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end. Up from the heavens. Splash from the top. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. She's in a predicament here. Power slam. Is it enough? The cover. No, she kicks out. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Goodness gracious. Everything's going against her now. Yeah, now she has to turn this momentum around. What a wrist clutch suplex. The end is looming now. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Oh, look at this amazing power. He's looking for the win. And Shotzi stops. Will it be? I think so. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. An emphatic victory. now see I can be surprising I don't have to always play by the book the apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her I did what you asked so let's figure out this cash in fine I've got to head out now but get your lame thoughts in order and we'll talk about it next week Ugh, you're the worst
The red-hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no-disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. Ah, oh. oh, stops to legs. Firm control. Oh, man! Ouch. Oh, my goodness. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. There's no crying in baseball, gentlemen, but finding yourself on the receiving end of that bat might tell a different story. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. Oh, what a counter. And Shotzi stops any momentum that was building against her. Yeah, she's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. She's rummaging around under the ring here. It's a freaking stop sign. Oh, and she got out of there. Oh, right to the side of the face. Momentum's all with her now. She's got to reestablish herself back into the match now. I don't know what they're looking for here. Settling on the kendo stick, no good can come from this. You can sense what her intentions are here. And this is as much a dare as it is a statement. All right, she's back in, ready to go. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Look at it capitalize. She got the win. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. <sighs> that was unexpected. You defending me in the ring? It certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. Fair point. But I didn't know you. You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. I get the frustration, but that wasn't what I was doing. I was offered a WWE contract and given an opportunity to debut. Was I supposed to say no? Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kinda mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other. Which is actually a good thing if we're gonna work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're gonna do it. Speaking of... 
Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great. We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness. But both of you, save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly! Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. After a shocking turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Bring her up! Like a cruise missile. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, oh man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Robbing their opponent by the skull and slamming him down. <laughs> Expected that one. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh is right. Fall away slam. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. She can end it here. An easy kick out there. She is still very much in this. Counter! And now there's an opening. A roundhouse kick. Look at this. And what a maneuver we just saw there. She's losing some steam now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Good night. Good grief. She's able to get the tag by the skin of her teeth. Overhand right lands. Set up for the... Uh-oh. End of days! Hurricane Rana. Shotzi isn't being given any room to recover. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of... Shotzi ducks. Nails a discus forearm. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. They said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money in the Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. At the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on.